With a rich history and traditions, first-rate healthcare, an intriguing culture, unspoiled countryside, a pleasant climate, and of course the sophistication and glitz of Paris, France has everything you could want in a retirement location. But where in France are the finest areas to retire? France should be on your radar if you value a laid-back lifestyle, quality healthcare, and all the modern amenities you can have at home. Let's examine each of these wonderful retirement locations in France in more detail. In today's video, we will talk about the 8 best places to retire in France. So, make sure to watch the video till the end, and if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon, so you won't miss any future videos we upload. Number 8. Nice Nice has long been regarded as one of France's most alluring cities, ranking 6th in terms of population. This city, which is approximately 18 miles, 28.97 kilometers, from the Italian border and faces the Mediterranean Sea, has ideal weather for retirees to live comfortably. Nice has long been a well-liked vacation spot for visitors from throughout the world, but it also boasts a thriving retiree population with strong North African, Italian, and even English influences. The possibility of retiring on the French Riviera has attracted more Americans to the area. The La Promenade des Anglais ends at the Nice International Airport. Every day, it takes locals to Paris, within an hour, or other continental locations. Direct ferries to Sardinia and Corsica are available from Nice, which also features a cutting-edge tramway and bus infrastructure. From Nice's main train station, you may take trains to popular seaside towns like Cannes and Antibes, as well as major European cities like Vienna, Venice and Milan. Like Paris, every district has its own collection of shops, cafes, and eateries. You may eat at some of France's best restaurants in Nice, which is well known for its hospitality contributions. Street food favorites like stuffed zucchini flowers and soca, a flatbread made from chickpea flour, are equally as popular as Michelin star dishes. The Mediterranean region's rich legacy is reflected in the thriving culinary scene, which is also influenced by Italy, which is close. A 40-square-meter two-bedroom apartment in the city center starts at about 430,000 euros. Outside of the historic district, costs are lower. As a result, you might search the nearby coastal towns for a better deal. Additionally, renting can be the most economical choice. A similarly sized, furnished 40 square meter two bedroom, one bathroom apartment rents for 850 euros per month. Number 7. Toulouse. Toulouse, which is a few blocks from the Spanish border and halfway between the Mediterranean and Atlantic Oceans, has a vibrant and open culture and hosts about 1,000 events each year. Toulouse is proud of its area wines and products, and it has 11 restaurants with Michelin stars. The bustling core of Toulouse is a labyrinth of cafes, local markets, pedestrian squares, historical landmarks including the magnificent capital, town hall, theatres and churches. Along with the Canal du Midi, which runs through the city, the Garonne River provides many options for outdoor pursuits like river cruises, kayaking, fishing, cycling and walking. Around 160 parks and other green spaces may be found in and around Toulouse. The city is the second largest university city after Paris, since students make up one-fourth of the total population. The abundance of concert halls, theatres and museums in Toulouse attests to the city's youthful vitality and passion for the arts. A pleasant, temperate environment with lots of sunshine in the summer, fall and spring is another feature of the area. Winter lows can drop as low as 40 degrees Fahrenheit, 4.44 degrees Celsius, with summer highs often hovering around 80 degrees Fahrenheit, 26.67 degrees Celsius. Toulouse, one of France's bigger cities, offers a variety of housing options to fit every preference and price range. For instance, you can rent an apartment in the town's historic center, either in a modern building with all the amenities you could want, or in a gorgeously restored neoclassical structure. Additionally, you can buy a gorgeous French condo to remodel, or one that has been updated to modern tastes and still has its original ironwork or stone-laid chimney. You'll be close to outdoor markets, independent grocery stores and cultural attractions if you choose to live in the city centre. You can also get around easily on foot or by taking public transportation. 
The drawbacks include the fact that rents in the Old Town area are frequently expensive, and that you might not have access to a garden or other outdoor space. Leasing a furnished 45 square meter two bedroom, two bathroom apartment in Toulouse's center will cost you 1767 euros. Be prepared to spend at least 200,000 euros on a 45 square meter two bedroom, one bathroom apartment with a balcony. There are numerous suburbs of Toulouse that are conveniently accessible by automobile or bus. Living outside of the city centre has advantages such as being close to bigger shopping centres, more contemporary construction and cheaper housing. Number 6. The Languedoc-Roussillon region. The Mediterranean beach is right outside your door in the lovely and picturesque region of the Languedoc. It shares a wonderful climate with Côte d'Azur and Provence, two upscale and fashionable neighbours of Languedoc. However, compared to nearby towns, it is less glitzy, far less expensive and less busy. The Midi Pyrenees are located on the opposite side of the Mediterranean Sea from Languedoc. The temperature in the Languedoc is perfect if you enjoy hot weather. Even during Indian summers, it has more days with blue skies and longer summers than the UK. Although the winters in Languedoc are rather mild, the summers can and do frequently turn extremely hot, occasionally reaching 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius, with high humidity levels, which can lead to changes that result in some very large and dramatic storms. Languedoc might not be the greatest spot for you if you don't like hot weather. Nevertheless, the climate is ideal for growing grapes. If you think Bordeaux is the king of winemaking, reconsider. Compared to Bordeaux, the Languedoc-Roussillon vineyards are three times bigger. One out of every ten bottles of wine consumed worldwide throughout the 20th century was produced in this area. Living in the Languedoc-Roussillon region of France will enable you to consume a balanced, locally and freshly produced Mediterranean diet. This region of France makes it extremely simple to live a very healthy Mediterranean lifestyle, which is ideal for any retiree. It has lovely and affordable wine as well as fresh fish. Eight international airports now call the Languedoc-Roussillon home, making it a well-connected region. As a result, your family can simply visit you here, or you can effortlessly fly to visit your friends or family elsewhere. Spain is just a few hours distant by vehicle, while Paris can be reached in just three hours by high-speed train. In the region of Languedoc-Roussillon, there's always something going on to keep you engaged. Every year, every community, no matter how tiny, holds at least one village fair or festival. Many of them host hundreds. One of the most significant festivals and celebrations in Narbonne and Carcassonne is Bastille Day, which is characterized with spectacular fireworks and vivacious festivities. In comparison to other French cities and towns, renting or buying an apartment in this region is significantly less expensive. You should expect to pay about 350 euros per month to rent a one-bedroom apartment and 400 euros per month to rent a two-bedroom. Number 5. Lyon. Lyon, a city in southern France's Rhône Alps region, has a relaxed, almost lazy atmosphere. In addition to two huge rivers, this city offers lovely 18th century structures that have been painted pink, orange, and peach yellow. With 2.22 million inhabitants, it ranks third in terms of population in France. However, you might not notice their weight while you move around Lyon. Due to its many parks, wide streets, and expansive squares, as well as two enormous hills that provide breathtaking views that, on a clear day, extend as far as the Alps, Lyon gives the impression of being huge. Lyon offers all the advantages and vibrancy of a large metropolis. In this city, there is never a lack of things to do thanks to the abundance of shops, cafes, galleries, theatres, and museums as well as the sophisticated transportation system that gets you to them all. In addition, this region's rental costs are pitiful, especially when compared to those in Paris. A one-bedroom apartment in Lyon Centre that is unfurnished would likely cost you 800 euros per month, while a two-bedroom apartment in one of the city's chic neighbourhoods will run you just under 1,500 euros. And then there is the cuisine. Most people are probably most familiar with Lyon as France's culinary capital. Lyon's culture, heritage and lifeblood are its delectable foods. 
It's simple to find a terrific three-course lunch in Lyon for under $30 because there are so many fantastic restaurants nearby. Number 4. Pau Consider Pau if you're searching for an economical retirement option that nevertheless has a lot to offer. There are 80,000 people living in this lovely French city, which is only a few kilometers from the Spanish border. The streets are lined with stunning historic villas and mansions, providing amazing vistas of the snow-capped Pyrenees. Pleasant rainy winters and pleasant warm summers are both common in Pau. Wintertime lows are around 54 degrees Fahrenheit, 12.22 degrees Celsius, while summertime highs range from 68 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. It's understandable why European nobility came to the city for vacations in the late 1800s and early 1900s given the weather. Since the nearest ski slopes are only 45 minutes away and an Atlantic beach is only an hour away, its position lets you have the best of both worlds. Cycling, hiking and rock climbing are all common pastimes in the city. When it comes to hosted Tour de France stages, Pau is just second to Paris. The first 18-hole golf course in Europe was built in the city, which is well known for its love of sports and where you can still play today. It boasts a distinctively British clubhouse in the Victorian style. Jurançon, a regional wine made in 25 villages and towns, especially famous in Pau. However, Molu, sweet white wine, is the most well-known type of wine in Pau. Pau also offers a top-notch hospital and other medical facilities, which are crucial for an elderly person who frequently needs medical attention. The TGV, Train Grand Vitesse trains, go to Toulouse, Bordeaux and Paris, and there is an airport with international connecting flights. When compared to other Aquitaine cities of comparable size like Villeneuve, Agen or Mont-de-Marsan, Pau's real estate costs are relatively expensive. In Pau, a home typically costs 2,200 euros per square meter. Pau is a university city, hence students make up the majority of its population. Apartments for buy-to-let are therefore attractive investments, especially studios with one bedroom. Expect to pay 2,500 euros per square meter if you want to buy a home for full-time retirement. Apartments can be purchased, though for less than 1,280 euros per square meter. Number 3. Montpellier Montpellier is situated snugly between the Mediterranean Sea and the Seven Mountain Range on France's pleasant, sunny southern coast in the Languedoc-Roussillon area. Its population of 253,000, including 70,000 students, makes it the eighth largest and fastest growing city in France. Montpellier is regarded as a university town and exudes all the vitality and enthusiasm you'd anticipate, given that it is home to France's first and most illustrious medical school. The historic heart of the city's broad boulevards is dotted with pubs, eateries and cafes. Additionally, they host numerous annual cultural events, including as jazz concerts, foreign film festivals and flamenco performances. If you enjoy art, you'll enjoy visiting the city's many museums and galleries, such as the renowned Fabre Museum, which contains a wide variety of 17th to 19th century European works of art. Both the bus and tram systems in this area are first rate in terms of transportation. More than 90 miles, 144.84 kilometers of bike lanes, including six miles, 9.66 kilometers that provide access to the shore make Montpellier another bike-friendly city. Given the city's close proximity to the sea and its extensive list of attractions, real estate costs are very affordable. One-bedroom flats without furniture can be rented for 582 euros to 900 euros per month, while two bedrooms start at 1500 euros. Number 2. Sarlat La Caneda this village, which has about 11,000 residents, is located in the southern French province of the Dordogne. Sarlat la Caneda is a charming destination to visit and an exciting place to call home as a retiree, since it offers big city conveniences and activities in a small town setting. The old town's winding, narrow alleyways, occasionally broken up by peaceful squares, conjure up romantic notions of a small town France. In addition, 
Sarlat boasts rivers that peacefully meander through forested valleys, castles that guard nearly every hilltop, and prehistoric cave paintings that lure tourists to the region. Sarlat is much than just its peaceful alleyways and medieval buildings. In this city, it's simple to stay active by climbing limestone cliffs, biking through rural areas, or canoeing through rivers. Therefore, it won't be difficult to keep an active lifestyle here as you get older. Sarlat's artistic side is highlighted by the Holiday Music Festival, Fall Film Festival, and Summer Theatre Festival. The cultural centre provides events and exhibitions all year round. In Sarlat, the food is as delicious as the scenery. The area is widely known for its truffles, which give many regional recipes a delicate yet musky flavour. In this town, there are lots of eateries that sell foie gras, duck and goose. Village residences can be found for between €360,000 and €3,900,000, notwithstanding recent price increases and the difficulty in locating low-cost structures that can be renovated. Sarlat is sufficiently enough from big cities to provide a calm, small-town lifestyle, yet it is still conveniently close to the major cities of southwest France. It takes about two hours to drive between Toulouse and Bordeaux. Number 1. Bordeaux. Bordeaux is a shining diamond on its own, even though Paris is France's crown treasure. This historic city, which is situated in the well-known wine-growing area of southwest France, has witnessed a significant alteration recently. Due to its beauty and history, a large portion of Bordeaux city has been named a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Bordeaux is also a wine lover's delight, with everything from little cellars to estates of international fame. On the Atlantic coast, Bordeaux is adjacent to a number of lovely sandy beaches. This region's beaches are naturally wild, with tall dunes, pine trees and scrubby marshes. Bordeaux normally experiences pleasant summers that are neither extremely hot nor extremely cold. For example, the average high temperature in July is only approximately 79 degrees Fahrenheit, 26.11 degrees Celsius, while the average low temperature in December is 43 degrees Fahrenheit. 6.11 degrees Celsius. Bordeaux provides good value for money when compared to Paris because it's a great alternative to the expensive pricing of the city. This is one of your finest possibilities if you want to retire in a French city. In the city's core, you may find a nicely equipped apartment for rent starting at 995 euros per month. As you leave the town centre, the cost goes down. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and sharing, so we can keep bringing more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. See you next time. Until then, happy retirement.